Monday morning, June 28th. It had been a week since I had done my video about combining my bee condo, so I decided to go back and check and see how they were doing. But when I got there, I noticed a few dead bees around one of the other bee colonies, and something strange was going on here at our new bee condo. Something was attacking the bees, and it looked like the bees were attacking it back. I did not know what was going on. Was it a spider? What was this thing? And then I noticed that as the bees attacked it, it seemed to have one bee that it was grabbing, and it was kicking away the other bees as they came and tried to defend their sister. Well, what do we have here? I'm not sure what enemy that is, but the bees are on it. But there was nothing the bees could do to save their sister. This turned out to be a bee killer assassin bug, very aptly named. It has a proboscis or rostrum that's like a sword. It pierces the body of the bee and they inject it with digestive juices that paralyze the bee, and then the bug eats the bee. These can be beneficial in a garden, at least some of their relatives can be beneficial in a garden, but definitely not in an apiary. Meanwhile, up in the hive, the bees were taking their fallen sister, dragging her back into the hive, and I think maybe they thought they could resuscitate her, but it didn't work out, and they flew her away to the bee cemetery, I suppose. And activity returned to normal pretty quickly. So that's the horror story of the bee killing, paralyzing agent injecting, karate chopping bug. You can see here it's proboscis or rostrum that it uses to inject the paralyzing digestive fluids into the bee. Here he is just before I stepped on him. But there was good news inside the hive and I'll tell you about that next time. God bless y'all.